Hello everyone and welcome to Kiki Crochet. In this video we are going to learn how to crochet a Christmas stocking. I am crocheting with a 4mm crochet hook and I am using an acrylic yarn which is kind of thin. So let's go ahead and start. I am going to start with my magic circle. So take the yarn and wrap it around your two fingers once. Bring it on the top left. Take your uh, hook, put it under the right yarn over the left, bring it over, wrap your hook around once, grab the left yarn and pull it through the loop. Having done this we have the first chain and I'm going to crochet two more, one, two. So those three chains give me my first double crochet for the first row. So I want 11 more double crochet, so I'm going to have a total of 12 double crochet in the first row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm going to grab the yarn that I started my magic circle with and pull it tight and I'm going to put my hook in the first double crochet for this row and the first double crochet was my chain 3. So count 1, 2, 3 chains and put your hook in the third chain and work a slip stitch. Chain 1 and turn your work. Now we're going to start row 2 where we're going to work increases in every single stitch. So at the end of row 2 we're going to have a total of 24 double crochet. So put your hook in the first stitch one, two, next stitch, three, same stitch, four, next stitch, five, same stitch, six. So keep working two double crochet in every stitch up until you have 24 double crochet. I completed the row, I have a total of 24 double crochet Put your hook in the first stitch, slip stitch, chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to start row three where we're going to work increases in every second stitch. So at the end of row three we're going to have a total of 36 double crochet. Start in your first stitch and work one double crochet, second stitch, two double crochet, one, two first stitch, one double crochet, second stitch, two double crochet in the same stitch, one, two. So keep working the same pattern, we're going to be increasing, we're going to be increasing in every second stitch. So in every second stitch you're going to be working two double crochet, at the end of this row we're going to have a total of 36. I completed row three with a total of 36 double crochet, Put your hook in the first stitch of this row, slip stitch, chain one and turn your work. Now in uh, row four we're going to work increases in every third stitch. So put your hook in the first double crochet and work one double crochet. Second stitch, one double crochet. Third stitch we're going to work two double crochet in the same stitch. So in the first stitch, one double crochet, in the second stitch, one double crochet, in the third stitch we're going to work our increase, two double crochet in the same stitch, one, two. So you keep increasing in every third stitch and at the end of row four we're going to have a total of 48 double crochet. I completed row four with a total of 48 double crochet. So put your hook in the first stitch, slip stitch, chain one and turn your work. Now we're going to work increases in every fourth stitch. So 
on the first double crochet one stitch in the second stitch one double crochet in the third stitch one double crochet and in the fourth in, uh, in the fourth stitch we're going to work our increase two double crochet in the same stitch on the first stitch one double crochet on the second stitch one double crochet in the third stitch one double crochet in the fourth stitch two double crochet in the same stitch so this is our increase keep working the same pattern up until you complete row 5 and at the end of this row we're going to have a total of 60 double crochet I finished row 5 with a total of 60 double crochet put your hook in the first stitch slip stitch chain 1 and turn your work so at this point I am going to measure and see how uh, the perimeter of my circle and it is about 40 centimeters now what I'm going to do from now on I have crocheted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows with a total of 60 double crochet now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start crocheting one double crochet in every stitch and the reason that I measured the perimeter is because um, I know that we not everyone is going to have the same exact yarn as I'm using so if you use a thinner yarn or a thicker yarn in order to have the same result as I am going to have at the end um, your total perimeter of the circle has to be 40 centimeters now if you want your stocking to be good, bigger or smaller you can make more or less rows of increases so from now on I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch and I'm gonna do that for us for a certain number of rows and because I've never made a, a Christmas stocking before I do not know how many rows are gonna be but I'm gonna mention them when I turn the video back on and these rows are going to be the foot of the stocking and then I'm going to turn the video back on and mention how many rows I've made, how many centimeters those, these rows are, and then we're going to crochet the heel. So the, this part right here, it's like the toes of the stocking. So let's go ahead and start working one double crochet in every stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and keep crocheting one double crochet in every stitch up until you have 60 double crochet. I completed row six with a total of 60 double crochet. Put your hook in the first stitch, chain, slip stitch, and chain one, and turn your work. So from now on, we're going to be crocheting one double crochet in every stitch, and see how it has already started to close up because we made one double crochet in every stitch so when I finish crocheting one double crochet in every stitch I'm going to turn the video back on and we're going to see how to create the heel so what we're doing now is we're creating the foot of the stocking and what's important is that you're turning your work every time you complete a row so when I uh, complete I'm going to turn the video back on and I'm going to mention how many rows and how many centimeters total uh, the part that I have finished so far is I finished crocheting one stitch in every stitch and I did off camera an extra eight rows so plus the six that we did together I have a total of 14 rows and in centimeters it is 13 centimeters so see how it looks like a hat now what we're going to do is we're going to start creating the heel okay and since I have finished my uh, last row the 14th row by crocheting one stitch in every stitch I have already cut my yarn I did my slip stitch my chain one so cut your yarn pull the loop and tighten up so we're finished with the red so far so now I want to fold my my stocking with this right here the um the end the slip stitch to be on the left side so this is my one corner 
and now we're going to separate the stitches that we're going to make the heel so I have a total total of 60 stitches right I have uh, my slip stitch over here so this is my corner so that means that on this side I have 30 stitches and on this side I have 30 stitches so half of 60 is 30 so out of those 30 stitches I am going to subtract 4 and I'm going to make my heel on the 26 stitches so um, whatever number of stitches you have just divide it by 2 and then subtract 4 because I want my heel to be about a third of my stitches and a little more so I am going to take 26 stitches so 26 stitches I'm gonna have 13 on this side and 13 on this side over here so counting from my slip stitch I am going to count 13 stitches on this way and I'm going to attach my white yarn so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 so I'm going to put my hook right here in the 13th stitch and I'm going to take white yarn well you can make it green or you can just keep crocheting with the red yarn but even if you keep crocheting with the red you're going to cut the yarn so I'm taking the yarn pull it through the stitch and chain three one two three those three chains stand for my first double crochet so I want to crochet 25 more I want a total of 26 double crochet so one double crochet in every stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so I'm crocheting the pieces of yarn together so I do not have to sew them in in the end so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five and twenty six double crochet so chain one so up until I complete the heel the only stitches that I'm going to crochet in are those 26 stitches so chain one and turn your work starting from the first double crochet work a double crochet and one double crochet in each stitch across so a total of 26 double crochet again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty 
25 and my last stitch my 26th is the three chains that I started my first row with so put your hook in the third chain and work your last your 26th double crochet chain one and turn your work so keep crocheting 26 double crochet in each row and when I finish uh, crocheting my heel I'm going to turn my video back on so this is what we're doing right now we're crocheting the heel so when I finish I'm going to turn the video back on and mention how many rows and how many centimeters is this um, is going to be the heel I've completed crocheting my heel and I have a total of six rows so we worked the two together so I did the other two the other four off camera so we want the rule for the heel to be uh, out of the total length that the red part was the front part of our sock was 13 centimeters so I'm going to take half of 13 which is six and a half so I want my heel to be about six and a half centimeters as well so it's six and a half exactly and if it comes out six or six and a half or a little more than six and a half it's okay so I want out of the total length of the stocking I want the two-thirds to be the front part and the other one-third to be the heel so let me recap I'm gonna take the total length of the front part which is 13 divided by 2 it's six and a half so I want my heel to be six and a half centimeters as well so I finished my row by chaining one so I'm just gonna frog the chain one and what we're gonna do now is we're going to um, stitch together uh, the front the one side and the other side of our heel so we're gonna close the back part of the stocking so I'm going to put my hook in the first double crochet of the front side and the first double crochet on the back side of my heel. On the, w well, what we're really doing is we're putting our hook in the first and last double crochet of the row. And I'm going to work a slip stitch. So it's going to be kind of difficult to see because my camera doesn't really show the white yarn. So I'm just going to be saying what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to put my hook in the second double crochet on the front side and the second double crochet on the back side and slip stitch. So we're going to work one slip stitch across. So I'm going to have a total of 13 slip stitches and I'm always going to be grabbing the same double crochet on the front side and the same double crochet on the back side as well. So let's go ahead and slip stitch the third stitches front and back slip stitch fourth stitches slip stitch fifth stitch and slip stitch now on the sixth double crochet front and back slip stitch and from one point the uh, stitches align with each other so once you put your hook from the front to the back you're grabbing both stitches and you're working a slip stitch so since we're slip stitching on this side of our work now this is going to be the wrong side of our stocking okay so this is the 12th slip stitch and my 13th the last slip stitch chain one cut the yarn pull the loop and tighten up so we closed the heel so now we're going to turn it upside down And this is how our stocking looks like so far. So what we are going to do now is I am going to attach yarn and I'm going to attach red yarn. And now what we're going to do is we're doing the, the body of our stocking. So I'm going to be crocheting two rows of a uh, double crochet and then one row of single crochet and on my single crochets I'm going to be doing um, on one time I'm going to be doing white row of single crochet and then I'm going to do two rows of double crochet and a row of um, green 
single crochet. So I'm going to be doing that interchangeably. So I'm going to attach the yarn back here because this is the back uh, side of my stocking. So, so I want to want my slip stitches to be on the back. And as I have mentioned in previous videos, when we're crocheting on top of double crochet, when my double crochets are horizontal, each double crochet consists of two stitches. So this is the first row of double crochet, so I'm going to do two double crochet on top of here, two double crochet on top of the next double crochet, two, top, two double crochet on the next one, and so on. So attach your yarn chain three, one, two, three, this is my first double crochet and work one more double crochet on top of this double crochet over here. So I have two double crochet on top of my first stitch. Next double crochet. One and one more double crochet on top of the same one. Next double crochet one and two double crochet on top of it next double crochet one and two stitches on top of it next one one and one more two next one one and one more down here and now I'm going to start crocheting one double crochet on top of each of my stitches okay so so far I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve double crochet now I'm not going to do a double crochet on this stitch over here where I attach the white yarn I'm going to go on the next stitch and I'm going to work a double crochet and now we're going to start crocheting one double crochet on each stitch across. So I have 12 so far, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and keep crocheting one double crochet on top of the stitches and when I reach at this point where we're going to have to uh, crochet on top of those double crochet I'm going to turn the video back on. I have a total of 46 double crochet. I will not crochet on this stitch where I have white yarn uh, where I had stitched with the white yarn of, over here. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to jump over and do one double crochet out of the two on top of the first double crochet on the on this white double crochet over here so 47 one more double crochet on top of the same stitch 48 my next double crochet 49 50. So what I'm going, what I'm doing now is I'm crocheting again two double crochet on top of each horizontal double crochet. So 50, Fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, and my last stitch right here in the middle, fifty-nine. Put your hook in the first double crochet, which was the chain three, slip stitch, chain one, and turn your work. So at this point, our stocking looks like this. So now we're going to be working rounds 
of uh, one double crochet, one stitch in every stitch. So we finished on this side. So now we're going to turn our work and work one double crochet in every stitch, starting from the first one. One, two, three, four, five, and keep crocheting up until you have 59 stitches. I completed my 59 double crochet, so I'm going to put my hook in the first double crochet of this row and slip stitch. So I'm not going to chain one because I'm going to attach yarn. If you're just going to keep crocheting with red, just keep on turning rows and crochet one double crochet in every stitch. So I'm just going to stay on this slip stitch and I am going to attach white yarn just pull the yarn through the loop tighten tighten up your red um, the red yarn chain one with the white one and turn your work so now I'm going to do one single crochet in every stitch with the white yarn uh, a total of 59 single crochets so put your hook in the first stitch one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and keep working single crochet up until you complete the row with a total of 59 single crochet. I finished my 59 single crochet, so I'm going to put my hook in the first stitch of the row, slip stitch, and I forgot to cut the the red yarn earlier when I finished the row with red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my red yarn. Just grab it and pull it through the loop. I'm going to cut the white yarn. So chain one with the red one. Turn your work and start crocheting one double crochet in every stitch. So we're going to be working two rows of double crochet, one row of single crochet. And on each row of single crochet, I'm either going to be crocheting with the white or the green yarn. So put your hook in the first single crochet and work a double crochet, one, two, three, four, five, and keep crocheting. So this is how my stocking looks like so far. So just keep crocheting two rows of double crochet, one row of single crochet, up until you reach the stocking in the total uh, height that you prefer it to be. So um, when I finish, I'm going to turn my video back on and I'm going to mention how many centimeters my stocking from the heel to the top is so you know how long uh, you can make yours. So let's just keep crocheting two rows of double crochet, a row of single crochet. If you do not want to do rows of single crochet, just keep working double crochet up until you complete your stocking. I have completed my stocking so far and um, what I'm what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure with my measuring tape so we can see how many centimeters after the heel our stocking is just in case uh, you crochet with a different um, type of yarn so if you want yours to look similar to this it is a total of 19 centimeters and right after the heel we made 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 and 2 I have a total of 23 uh, rows. So I thought of uh, making the white part now with a furry yarn. You can choose to make it with a furry yarn but I thought that it would um, 
because I'm gonna have to make many rows that it will be kind of difficult. So I decided to make the double loop stitch, which is a new stitch that we have never seen um, in this channel. So I completed my row and I was crocheting on the right side of my stocking. So now I am going to attach the white yarn chain one and I'm going to turn my work. In order for this stitch to look correct, in order for us to uh, crochet it on the uh, correct side of our um, project, we have to crochet from the wrong side. So even if you finish your project with the red yarn in the wrong side, you have to keep crocheting in the wrong side in order to start crocheting the white part. This way the loops that we're going to create when we crochet in the wrong side, the loops are going to come out on the front. So let's go ahead and start. And I'm going to put my hook in the first stitch. Okay. And I, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap the yarn around my finger two times. One, two. So now it seems like I have three loops on my finger. One, two, three. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my crochet hook, bring it on the top right, on the bottom left, and I'm going to put the hook inside under all of the loops that I have on my finger. So now it seems as if I have one, two, three loops on my crochet hook. So grab all of those loops and pull them through the first stitch. So now I have one, two, three loops plus the one loop that I had in my hook, a total of four loops. So take your finger out of the two loops right here in the front, wrap the yarn over once and pull it through all of those four loops. So this was our first stitch and we have created a double loop in the front. So we are going to have as many stitches as our row has. So we're going to do this a total of 59 times. Put your hook in the next stitch and wrap the yarn around your finger twice. One, two. So it seems as if we have one, two, three loops on our finger. Take your crochet hook, bring it on the top right, bottom left, and put your hook under all of those loops. So it seems as if we have one, two, three loops on our hook and pull them through this stitch carefully. And now we have one loop in the hook plus one, two, three, a total of four loops. Pull your finger out of those two loops, wrap the yarn over once and pull it through all of those four loops. Put your hook in the next stitch Wrap the yarn around your finger twice, one, two. So it seems as if we have one, two, three loops in our hook. Take your hook, put it, bring it over from the top right, bottom left, and I am going to insert the hook under all of those loops on my finger. So I have one, two, three loops on my hook, pull them through the stitch carefully, and now I have a total of one plus one, two, three. I have a total of four loops on my hook. Pull your finger out of the two loops, wrap the yarn over your hook twice and pull it through all of those four loops. Put your hook in the next stitch, wrap the yarn around your finger twice, one, two. Take your hook and bring it on the top right, bottom left, and put your hook under all of those loops that you have on your finger. We have three loops, pull them through your stitch carefully. So we have three plus one, four loops on our hook. Pull your finger out of those two loops, wrap the yarn over once and pull it through all of those four loops. So this is how our work looks on the front. Each time we create two loops, So put your hook in the next stitch, 
wrap the yarn around your finger twice and we have one, two, three loops. Take your hook over on the top right, bottom left and put your hook under all of those loops. Grab all of the three loops and pull them through the stitch. So now we have three plus one, four loops on our hook. Wrap the yarn over once and pull them through and pull it through all of those four loops. So we're going to do one last um, stitch together and then we're going to finish the row off camera. Put your hook in the next stitch, wrap the yarn around your finger twice. So we have one, two, three loops. Take your hook on the top right, bottom left, put your hook under all of the loops, grab all the three loops, pull them, pull them through the stitch, pull your finger out of the loops, wrap the yarn over once, and pull it through all of those four loops. So this is how our work looks in the front. So let's go ahead and finish the row and at the end of the row we're going to have a total of 59 stitches. Not 59 loops but 59 stitches. If you're going to count your loops you're going to be a total of 118 because we're making two loops on each stitch. So when I finish the row I'm going to turn my video back on and we're going to see how we're going to continue. I completed my row with a total of 59 stitches. So I'm going to put my hook in the first stitch, slip stitch, chain one and turn your work. So now we're crocheting on the right side of our stocking and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do one single crochet in every stitch. Well you can't really see with the white on this camera but we have one single crochet in every stitch over here so right on top of the red I have a stitch another stitch over here, another stitch over here. So I'm going to put my hook in every single stitch and I'm going to work one single crochet. So at the end of this row I am going to have a total of 59 single crochets starting from the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six and keep working one single crochet in every stitch. I've completed my row with a total of 59 single crochet. So I'm going to put my hook in the first stitch, slip stitch, chain one and turn your work. So now we're working on the wrong side of our stocking. So we're going to start creating the loops. So the loops come out on the front side of our project. Um, we're going to work the loops in the same exact way as we did in the first row. So I'm going to put my hook in the first stitch, wrap the yarn around your finger twice. So we have one, two, three loops on our finger. Take your hook on the top right, bottom left, put your hook under all of the loops. So we have three loops on the hook. Grab the loops, pull them through the stitch carefully. Pull your finger out of the stitch, out of the loops, wrap the yarn around once and pull them through all of those four loops. Let's do one more stitch together and then we're going to do the rest of the row off camera. So put your hook in the second stitch, wrap the yarn around your finger twice. So we have one, two, three loops. Gra take your uh, hook on the top right bottom left and put your hook under all of the loops. So we have one, two, three loops on our hook. Grab the loops, pull them through the stitch carefully, take your finger out of the loops, wrap the yarn around once and pull them through all of the four loops that I had on my hook. So we have created two stitches on the third row of the white part of our stocking. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off camera. I'm going to have 59 stitches again in total. And when I finish, I'm going to turn the video and see how we're going to continue. I've completed my 59 stitches. So now I'm going to put my hook in the first stitch of the row, slip stitch, chain one and turn your work. So this is how our work, our stocking looks like so far.
okay so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna finish this part of camera uh, you can make it as uh, big as you prefer uh, we are always going to be crocheting interchangeably now that I'm uh, on the right side of my stocking so when I when I have uh, the loops in front of me I am always going to be crocheting just one single crochet in every stitch so starting from the first stitch over here one next stitch two and so on up until you have 59 stitches when you complete this row you're going to work a slip stitch a chain one and you're going to turn on the wrong side of your work again and then you're going to create the loop stitches so when I finish I'm going to turn the video back on and I'm going to mention how many rows in total I have in this white top part over here and how many rows of loops and then we're going to see how we're going to complete the stocking so let's go ahead and finish the rows of camera and when I finish two I'm going to turn my video back on I've completed my stocking so far and this is how it looks like I finished um, I finished off uh, with the loop stitches and my f my last row is a row with one single crochet in every stitch on the right side of our work so on the wrong side we're working the slip stitches and my last row is one single crochet in every stitch and I finish my row over here I work a slip stitch in the first single crochet for the row slip stitch chain one cut the yarn pull the loop and tighten up and I have secured all of my yarns I weaved in all of my ends and what's left uh, what's left it now to do uh, is the um, hanger for our stocking and I am going to attach my yarn right here where I was working my slip stitch because this stitch over here is the corner stitch see it's the one in the corner so when we hang it it's gonna hang like this so attach your yarn in that stitch that we were working the slip stitch grab the yarn pull it through the stitch chain one and work a single crochet in the same stitch just uh, and the, the reason that I do this the single crochet is just to make sure it's more secure in the beginning and now I'm gonna work chains about 20 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty uh, you can check and see if the size of the hanger is the one that you prefer so just go like this okay and now put your hook in the same stitch that we attach the yarn and slip stitch chain one cut the yarn pull the loop and tighten up so what we're going to do now off camera we are going to weave in those ends over here and then I'm going to turn the video back on and see how our stocking looks completed Okay, and at this point our stocking is completed and this is how it looks like. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and if you like the videos, please press like and leave a comment under the video. I'm wishing everyone a happy holiday. Bye-bye.